I've been transforming all of my blank walls from this into something special. I've linked everything I use below. First, I cut my pieces of the artist canvas and my sis Candace is here helping me with this project. She's the absolute best. Now I am pinning up that canvas on the wall with push pins, y'all. This was one of the first projects I was really high up on the ladder and it was honestly very stressful, but I was so happy Candace was there to make sure I didn't fall and, and encourage me the entire time. If you saw my faux brick tutorial, the process is the same. And yes, I was insane enough to do this on this wall and the super long brick wall. <laughs> Make sure you overlap your canvas strips at least an inch here and at the top and at the bottom so as it shrinks, your walls are always protected. This is my test piece, but I really felt like I was creatively flowing in this moment and just got back to that creative spark when I had lost it for a little bit. <sighs> okay, just left the Home Depot. Got some more supplies to hopefully help my faux concrete wall and I'm about to walk in and I hope it's still standing up. <laughs> Oh my God, it looks even better today. <laughs> okay, so it's still on the wall. Even the upper panel, even though it's a little raggedy at the moment. I'm so hype right now. So, okay, this is great because, multiple reasons, it's great. Oh, wow. Okay, so a lot of, so, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> So you see how there's kind of like this gaping? Well, fortunately, like once it's fully covered, it doesn't like bubble up in between. So I was kind of worried that you were gonna like see ruffles and that's not what concrete does. And so good to know when it's fully covered, it does not do that. Also, even better to know, it's still on the wall. <laughs> I mix joint compound, premix grout, and black and white acrylic paint. You can play around with the amount of black and white paint you add. This will give you a little bit more depth on your accent wall. Skipping ahead to when I finally figured out what I was doing, I would do these swatches of my first shade, then I would take my joint compound knife and slide it over the mixture at an angle. Then you can swipe the excess onto another area, blend it in, and continue the process with each swatch. You want to do this while all of the swatches are fairly wet so that they'll blend together effortlessly and you don't get that kind of crunchy, crumbly feel. You can play and experiment with the angles and the methods you apply your joint compound mixture. You can use your joint compound knife at an upright angle, straight on. You can barely slide it over. You can layer it up. Do whatever you feel to get that true concrete texture that feels authentic and fits the aesthetic that you're going for. Now because I did each panel separately at different times, drying at different times, I had to go back in and add a little bit more depth and cohesion between all of the panels so that they looked more like a family and not like their own individual motifs. Now I didn't show it, but once you get it all up there, you definitely wanna blend it in like I showed before. And you can do the same method with the lighter tones and medium tones. In addition to adding depth from a color perspective, I love kind of adding some crumbly layers to give it that texture and worn in, lived in feel. Now if you overlap any of your canvas sheets, you might have some lifting or even some cracking if you layered on the joint compound like I did. I tried to make the most of this and kind of leverage the cracks and make it a little bit more interesting and add a little bit of character to my wall. Now we're not just gonna weep a boring line, honey. I'm taking my sponge and blending it out 
adding a little bit more interest and making it feel like an actual seam line on a concrete wall if you've ever seen them like this. Now I am resisting my perfectionist urge to point out all of the things I could have done better, but honestly, I'm just gonna take an exhale and revel in the fact that I was creating and really proud of something I made and got to be a little artist. My artist heart was so happy. I hadn't painted or done anything like this in so long and I'm really proud. yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if it was like from bending, climbing up the stairs so much, but I literally like in order to like bend down without like being in pain, I have to like stretch my leg like this. <laughs> and it makes me think of the black little movie where she's like, it's so <laughs> 